Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about AWS Session Manager. By using that, how we can connect a EC2 instance uh, from that Session Manager. Okay guys, and what can be the use case of this AWS Session Manager? Let me explain first those two part here. So let me explain the Session Manager. Think you have a EC2 instance which is launched in private subnet or assume you have a EC2 instance but you don't have that access to SSH key in such cases how we can connect that particular EC2 instance right what could be the solution so solution here is by using AWS session manager right by using AWS session manager we can connect those kind of EC2 instance easily okay guys and another solution what we have like by using the Jambox or AWS bashed on host right so the Jambox or Bastion host, how we can create that I have already demonstrated in my previous session. Now today's session, we will focus on only AWS session manager, how we can configure and how we can connect to a particular EC2 instance, which we don't have like any uh, SSH key or we don't. And one more like uh, advantage here is like whenever we are launching EC2 instance and if you want to do SSH, right, we generally we used to open that port in the inbound role, right? In the security group inbound role, we have to specify it, right? Like uh, which port, uh, what purpose we want to use, right? The protocol basically. But if you are trying to connect the issue to instance by using session manager, right? Then you no need to specify any port. In, you can easily access and you no need to need any SSH key also. I will show you in the demo part and easily if you launch any EC2 instance in the private subnet easily you can connect that those EC2 instances okay guys so let me go to the demo in AWS console so let's go to the AWS console so I have already logged in AWS console this is the system manager I have logged in here so system manager under system manager only we have that session manager so that I will show you so first let me open create a IAM role here the role and let's create the IAM role let's select the EC2 here and go to the next and we have to select the permission like SSM okay guys so in under SSM we have multiple permission so for this today session let's give SSM full access okay guys so now let's go to the next and give the name in uh, role name suppose cloud tech demo SSM okay on EC2 something like that and click on create now it is creating right so let's go to the EC2 again okay so what we need we will launch here two EC2 instance one is with that role and another one without that role and I will show you that while we are trying to connect that by using SSM will it allow without that role that I will show you okay for that purpose I will launch another EC2 instance which is have, don't have that role okay guys so let's give the name here SSM demo with IAM okay now let's keep default and here security let's give the key PM and here the security group right now I am not allowing any port SSH port also I am not allowing so no inbound security rule as allocated to this particular security group okay guys so now let me add that I am role here so let's come here this advanced section everything I have already talked about my EC2 session guys multiple times so if you have any doubt about that I will request you guys please have a look those my previous session okay guys and about the jump box also I have already demonstrated so let me select this I will give those link here in this video description guys about the jump box so that you guys can have a look also so I have selected the SSM okay so let launch here and launch another EC2 instance also meantime okay guys so launch another EC2 instance which will do, will not provide that particular IAM role okay SSM without IAM. Now let's IAM is nothing but what we have specified in that particular IAM role. Those uh, what I can say those uh, 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 SSM permission. Okay, guys. And here I am not selecting any IAM role. Just click on launch. Okay. 
now both the instance is ready so let me show you that go to the new so here if you see our with demo with that i am so that it is already running so let me show you how we can connect so click on connect now if you click on connect here multiple option we have right so that today's session our agenda is by using the session manager but ssh client all i have already talked about in my previous session guys so if you not yet watch that please have a look so click on session manager see here we are we can click on connect then it will connect automatically let me show you another ec2 instance in another tab so that it will be easy to you guys understand so let me go to running ec2 instance and come here so this is the without i am role right that ssm i am role click on connect now go to the session manager see here it is not able to connect right since we not attach that i am role this particular ec2 instance right so it is not allowing but in other ec2 instance if you just click on session manager here is the it is able to show you that it is connect and what the advantage also that is displaying here connect is your ec2 instance without ssh key and on behalf of you it will launch on baston host something like that or it will open any port for you for that inbound role okay session are required uh, like session are required to using key management you no need any ssh key also and if you want to lock those session then in the cloud watch or s3 bucket you can uh, configure that too also and you can uh, configure the session manager also that uh, that this part i will show you how we can configure session from the session manager okay guys this part i will show you so now let's see what we connected is it low? so let me show you sudo su now we are super user so yum update i can why see we are and our ip address is 128 right so let me show you that go to the instance and our ip address is c private ip address is 128 right so if you see here our ip address is 128 okay guys and other one is not we, we cannot connect here because this option itself is not enabled because we are not launched by this instance by using that ssm im okay guys now let me show you how we can connect from the session manager okay so let me search here session manager if you search here session manager so under the system manager the session manager is there let me click on that now let me let me terminate this one this session manager and oh this is the i am role video i will give this link to this video description let me refresh now start session and here we can give the name demo ssm and this is the instance even though we have multiple ec2 instance right since only one instance have that i am role of for the ssm right only here it is displaying one instance even though we have multiple ec2 instance if you go here here we are running two ec2 instances right but here it is displaying only one which have that ssm now select this one go to the next and let's keep default as it is and start session now from here also we can connect see you can create dir suppose let me show you that now we are connected from here from the session manager also we are good to connect right so it is connected from here also this is the demo we have created right now if you from that uh, ec tools terms also let me show you that connect let's go to here and the sudo see from both place we can one place we have created the variety same instance other tab we are connected and we are able to see that so this is how we can connect the, the session manager we can utilize the session manager and i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then please do like and while you are doing hands on if you face any issue then put those error in this video uh, uh, comment section i will address those and i will request you guys please subscribe and share around you with your friend so that will really inspire and motivate to me to create this kind of video okay guys chalo bye